Sam crashes off some cargo containers. I crash through some boxes. And Ian does a funny dance. Compact cars, a vehicle that has taken every city by storm, and Los Santos is no exception. But recently, it seems that manufacturers have forgotten all about what made these compact cars so great. So, the producers challenged us to go out and buy what we thought was the best classic compact car in GTA Online. And I was the first to arrive. Yes, here we have it, the best classic compact car the BF Weevil, a car that was designed at a difficult time in Germany in the 1940s, and just look at it, it's, it's iconic, loved by hippies and hipsters, and the engine is in a place where you'd least expect it, not at the front, but in the back. It was, however, at this point where I was rudely interrupted by the arrival of Sam. You idiot! What you, what you Clearly, mean, you Clearly, the best, the best classic compact car is the original one, which is this. The Grotti Brioso 300. Yes, I can see that. Tell me some facts. Well, it's rear-engined, rear-wheel drive, similar to yours. Uh, mine is rear-engined and rear-wheel drive. I didn't mention that, exactly. but yes. Exactly. Perfect. It's got a racing pedigree in that, you know. Rally drivers have won races in it, probably. I don't know. Rally drivers have won races in my car, I think. Probably. Yes. It's Italian, Tom. Look at it. It's um, a, it's a and baby mine Grotti. Is German, it's a baby which Grotti. Which means it'll be reliable. Oh, and... Unlike what... Mr. Ian's brought along. Hello, fellows. Uh, well, you're both probably wrong in what you were just saying. I couldn't really hear you, but this is the best compact car ever made. Reasons? It's British. Right. Also, it's been used in many films, TV shows, and is great for racing in rallying and stuff like that. Okay. And it's red. Just because it was in some films and TV shows doesn't necessarily mean it's better than... Uh, the others. Yes, it does. And mine has racing liveries, so mine's good at racing Yeah, as well. mine's got them too. The bickering went on for some time, but it was eventually stopped by the arrival of our first challenge. In front of you, a course has been constructed in the car park. The course consists of numerous problems and tasks that compact car drivers face on a daily basis. In this challenge, you will slalom through cones, park in a fruit stand, then dribble a football through a goalpost. Then you will drive over some cargo containers around the explosive barrels and finish by doing a parallel parking handbrake turn into a car parking space. It also says here that for every task failed, five seconds will be added to your total time. It also says here, Sam, that you go first. Here he is in his blue slipper. It's an Italian slipper. Are you ready to do some city driving? Yes, I am. Okay, well, three, two, one, begin! Okay. Weave through the cones like that. Lovely, 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 lovely. The size fitting perfectly there. I can't see through the tree, into the fruit stand. Lovely stuff. Now, now into some football. The, you should be good at this. The Italians are good at football. He's, he's hit the ball in. I don't know much about football, so I don't know what to say. Scored a goal. Okay, now onto the containers. Infamous in cities, driving around containers. Don't fall off. Handling on this, handling on this thing! Oh, he's gone! Sam is dead, so if you'd like a job... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the handling just, I'm just getting further away from it. I feel like we're a bit brave standing here, Ian. I don't feel, yeah. Here we go. Handbrake in. I'm going to die! Oh. <laughs> oh! Lovely, did you see that? Did you see that yes. parking? That's, that is perfect. the space! <laughs> That's uh, like. You've Earth got the smallest love. car here, how am I going to do that in the weevil? <laughs> With a final time of 1 minute 21.2, it was Ian to go next. Ian, are you ready for the city simulation driving test thing? Yes, sir. Um, my weenie is always up for a challenge. Right, three, two, one, go! Right, here we go. Slalom, slalom, careful now. Don't hit any of those cones, have oh, the job. Right, fruit. I hate fruit, so I would actually love to drive over these. Okay, there we go. Parked. Go, 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 go. It's doing rather well. England and football. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, <laughs> has he missed the goal? England's always been good with penalties, haven't they? Get over that barrier. There we go. This is fine. The ball is in the goal. Right, 
Now Sam fell off, so all I've got to do is not fall off. Round we go! Careful now, Ian! Okay, we're fine! Oh, that's very good. The explosive roundabout. Oh, this look at the turning circle of this. Okay, he's, he's done with the washing machine. Here he comes. Right, here we go. Oh, touch! <laughs> touch! There you go! Done! <laughs> Don't celebrate that! What did you- you just parked! Yeah, that's the point of it, wasn't it? No, you gotta do a parallel park, like handbrake! Like, handbrake make it turn. stylish! I like in, like in the film. And with a final time of 1 minute 29.1, it was then my go in the Weevil. Just as a heads up, I don't like slaloms. I'm, I'm usually pretty bad at them. Excellent. Racing driver excuses before it's even begun. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Look, you see that little wheelie there? Oh, sh hang on. I've missed a... Oh, God. Uh, I haven't hit any cones. I hit a cone. Okay, I've hit, I've hit some cones. That's fine. Right. Reverse into the fruit stand. There we go. That's... Okay, that's... That's a lot of food that's gone there. Uh, do you want Sam, Sam? Sam? Yeah. I like your thinking. Footballs. I'm good at footballs because I'm in a German car and Germany is good at football. There we go. Right. That is a goal. Uh, we're geniuses. <laughs> Actual geniuses. Now, this is a much bigger car than the other two, so I'm going to have to go a bit slower. Don't want to fall off like Sam did. I'm going to have to reverse it a bit. Now, Ian. Yeah. He can take a few steps back because his handbrake turn. I know what. Yeah, I know what Tom's like. He's going so slow around that roundabout. There we go. Nice. And then we're out here. Right. Parallel park. Here we go. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, Why is the gap so small? Even an attempt there. It was an attempt. Why is, really? why is the cap it, so small? Did you move you just the car? No, did the you move the car? The car is huge. So with Sam and his Italian Brioso winning the serious city driving obstacle test, we were then told to head into the city to a nearby construction site to receive our next challenge. Compact cars and construction sites. I, I can't really see the link here. Maybe we could use them as bricks. I don't know. It says here, as modern compact cars are much bigger than classic compact cars, you shall now attempt to do something that they can't do. You shall now take it in turns to see which one of you can drive your classic compact cars the quickest through the Top Gear Construction Site Hill Climb Race Track Challenge thing. Well, I mean, do we need to? I've won this challenge already. This this car was built. I don't for this know. Type you of see, the Weevil is known for doing wheelies, so steep elevations like that. If I just whip out a wheelie, I can get up there with ease. <laughs> Please don't whip out a wheelie. <laughs> ah, Tom, they've put down a sign for you, so you know where you're going. That's that's not funny. I know which way up is Ian. I think. <laughs> do you? Right. Well, Sam, have you got the stopwatch? Yes. The stopwatch is ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh, a little bit of a weedy there as we launch ourselves. Oh my god, I've got air. Onto the first story. Here we go. Right. Look at the turning circle on the weevil. Boxes! You've got to crash through the boxes. You see destructible boxes, you have to drive through them. Okay, where am I going here? Okay, past the logs. Oh, look at the little bridge! Look at this! Oh, Sam, he's over there. There he is. He didn't fall off. Okay, I think I'm on the second story or the third. Oh, you're joking. I'm not going to get through that. It made it through the door! Okay, past the hose pipe, past the generators. I think this is the last level. Don't want to go off the edge here. Oh my god. That was way too close. Oh my god, concrete blocks everywhere. Avoid them. I'm avoiding. Oh, there's the finish. And across the line. After completing my hill climb, I was curious to know what my time was. However, communicating with my colleagues was proving to be quite difficult. What was my time? What did he say? I have no idea. I think he said you go next. Despite not knowing my final time, it was then Ian's turn to have a go at the Top Gear construction site hill climb. Three, two, one, go. Right, here we go. I cannot fail in this because, well, it's, just a, it's a weedy issy. So, up the first ramps, here we go. It's pretty good so far. Oh yeah, round here. Through this bit here. It's doing well so far. I think I have this in the bag. So, 
around. Oh, it's a little bit wide there, but we're all good. Has Ian hit anything, Sam? Not so far. Not as yet. Through the world's smallest door. Well, it's a normal sized door. But I got through, so we round everything, get past. Ah, yeah. There he is. He's on the top floor. Whoa. Wobble round there. Come on. Here he comes. And across the line. Here I am. How did you find that? Well, I found it pretty easy, you know. I'm here. So. I don't I, I think they should make construction sites racetracks. It's rude that they finish these type of buildings. It's so much fun. And finally, it was Sam's turn. Sam, are you ready? Yeah, I'm lined up. Tom, he's not gonna hear that from all the way up here. Sam, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Ian, he's on a walkie-talkie. Do I go up? I do, don't I? I? I'm just following up. I'm having to do a three-point turn already. This is not good for my time. Okay, now we go around the stairs. Lovely there, clipping the apex through the doorway. Although this car is the size of a Tic Tac, it, it has the handling of a bus. Oh! There he is across the bridge. He's going to fall off. He's going to fall off. Oh. Put the power down now. Wide open space. Through the tight doorway. Squeeze. Oh, breathe out. Oh, here comes the human flea. And he's driving a Brioso. And across the line. Hell yeah. Nicely done. Very Thank nice. You. That's how you pull off a handbrake, Tom. Yeah, my handbrake doesn't work very well. Ign uh, ignore the damage. It's nothing there. Damage. What was my time? Oh, yeah, that's what, there's uh, damage right there. What was my time? There's a, there's a bit Sam. of damage there, Sam. Anyway, the times. So, what did I do? In a 1 minute 10.3. Indeed, yes. yes. So you good? did it in a 1 minute 11.6. Ooh, oh. not good. Um, however, Ian. Yes. Uh, he, he, he did it in a 1 minute 3.9. Oh! Oh, God, he's dancing. 1 minute 3? He's doing his dance. The dad dance. Oh, hang on. We've got another challenge. Um, it says, whilst you may have proven how nimble your classic compact cars are, for your final challenge, you must now go away and upgrade your vehicles to the max. And that's exactly what we did. So a few days later, we met up at a car park just next to our test track with our brand new upgraded compact cars. And Ian was the first to arrive. So this is my new and improved weenie. Uh, it's got an engine upgrade, so it's much more faster now. It's also much more lighter, as you'll notice that there are no back seats. Also, I have added a new sporting livery. Just take a look at that. It's, it's never been any faster. But before Ian could continue, he was interrupted by Sam in a very modified Brioso. Ah, hello! Yes! Look at your little weenie! It looks far more racier than it did before, but not as racy as mine, Ian, because as you can see, lovely double white stripes to make it even faster, a lovely livery to go with it in grotty colours, and as you can see, I've made it wider, so it doesn't roll over as easily. Yeah, I, I can see that, yeah, but why have you got, like, a racing suit on, Sam? Because it's a race car, Ian, and I think you just need to dress for the occasion, you know? Okay, okay, this, this just feels a bit too serious to me, I should have been informed about this. What? Hello, gentlemen. This is what I've been very busy with. It's very good, I know. Where is it? You don't it? need to tell me. Where is it? What do you mean, where is it? Yeah. Oh, funny. Where are you, Tom? Because they see a head and Yes, arms. yes, camo livery. I've made the, let's be honest, the worst compact car into the best compact car. Look at this. I'd just like to point out, you know this is a race, right? Yes. Why have you brought everything from home with you? Why do you need uh, two extra tyres, fuel, a tool bag and shovels? Right, okay. Formula One teams, they have all the equipment that they need. They don't have shovels. I'm one up on Formula One. The reason why they don't need shovels is because they're not going into the desert. And speaking of Formula One, look at this wing. That's going to find all the downforce. Look at yours. What's wrong? What's wrong with my nothing. spoiler? Look at it! What's it, wrong with it, that? It's going to provide you absolutely no downforce whatsoever. The arguments went on for some time, but they were eventually stopped by the arrival of our final challenge. For your final challenge, you shall now see which one of your classic compact cars has stood the test of time. To do so, you shall each race against the most modern version of your vehicles around the Top Gear test track. I mean, it can't be that hard. So it was a three-lap shootout with our classic cars going up against the modern ones, which we'd each take it in turn to drive against each other. Here he is. 
It's the mean green... Well, it's a red machine, actually. There's nothing green about it. Now, Sam, your competitor will be Mr. Ian. Driving, of course, the latest Brioso, which is the RA. Which stands for really annoying. Yes, which fits Ian perfectly. Now, you will be having a six-second head start in your classic car to give you a bit of an advantage, and then Ian is coming to hunt you down. Okay, three, two, one, Sam, off you go. Oh no, that's too much wheel spin. Now, Ian, remember, you have to beat Sam. Hey, bye. That was just rude. Into the first corner. Back end, kick me out here. That's not what I wanted. Right. Hunting Sam down. This car has no acceleration, no top speed, and no brakes. So Ian is going to catch me very easily, I think. Ooh, he's going fast through there. Sam's going into the second to last corner. He's coming into Gambon. Oh, he's Ooh. very close to the wall. Here comes Mr. Ian. Go in! Kill him! Uh. Come on, come on. Speed and power. Come on. Oh, I've hit the wall. Oh my god, Sam's going right. Oh my god, I've overtaken him. Come on. No, this is Come not on. happening. I'm going to force him out wide. Uh, uh. Getting a lead. Come on, he's pulling on me. Oh, Ooh. he's on two wheels. Ooh. Come on. He's Come not on, getting god. away that fast. No, it's on, just, it has no grip. <laughs> I swear to god, this spoiler is providing me lift. I just don't make any mistakes. Uh. No, I said don't make any mistakes. Oh, no. Yes, Ian's no, 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 no. it a little bit. No, Come on, no, 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 let's no. go for the cutback. Let's go for the cutback. Come on. I can't put my foot down any harder. It's neck and neck as they're coming into the final corner. Oh my I'm god. I'm sending it. I'm he's sending it. I'm oh, sending it. Oh, <laughs> he's he's oh. at the end. Oh. No, no. With Sam being defeated by the Brioso RA, it was then Ian's turn to compete against the Weenie Issy Sport, which looked massive compared to his car. It is certainly bigger than mine. Um, it's a big weenie, isn't it, compared to the little weenie that Ian has. All right, it's not about the size, it's about the performance. So, Ian, you're going to have a 12-second head start before Tom comes after you in his bigger, faster weenie. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure about that, but okay. Tom, are you ready? Yes, I'm going to come hard. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Minnie, you can do this. 12 seconds, it's loads of time, right? Three laps to keep ahead of him. And after a long 12 second wait, I was then in pursuit of Ian. Right, if I can just keep this distance, which I feel like I'm not going to be able to, I will be happy. Oh, clip the apex. Lovely stuff. Right, okay, so it's going okay so far. This is a bloody fast car. That gap is closing quite quickly now. It's catching up just yet, but my back end is coming out. Oh, go, 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 go. Gaining on him. I'm gaining on him. This is going to be close. He's just exiting the hammerhead. I'm going in. Okay, Tom's weenie is getting bigger. That means it's getting closer. Here we are now. Looking up to their final lap. Ian, just coming through the last corner, followed by There's Tom. There's a handful of corners left to go. He is terrible around these corners. Oh, no. All right, so what I've got to try and do here is block Tom somehow with this tiny car. However, to try and maintain his lead, Ian resorted to some questionable tactics. He's, he's pushing me off the Come track. On. There was no rules about not being able to do this. This is naughty. That is a naughty use of weeding. Yeah, now two corners to go. They are nose to tail. Oh, he's gone for a late dive. Oh, Tom has no. sent it. It's a no. win for the big weenie. So with the new cars winning both races, it was now all down to me in my weevil. Right, just before I start, I want to make it clear, this isn't fair. There's no modern version of the weevil. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, Tom. Uh, the producers have actually got something sorted out for you. But what? Because there's... <coughs> that's, a, that's, that's a Fista Comet. It is a Fista Comet. And as you rightly that, say... That's a sports car. As you've always rightly said... It's basically a weevil, isn't it? So no, but you know. it, that's that's a fista. This is a weevil. No, you wouldn't you wouldn't lie now, would you, Tom? Right. Anyway, Tom, you've got one second head start against the comet. One. Yep. Go. What? Oh God. Well, that wasn't fair. Right. Here we go. Now, the one thing I like about this car is its speed. I've added a massive turbo, but as you can see on the corners, it's not very good. Oh my God, there's Sam. And then I just. Pull away. That thing has got some legs. Holy sh! I can't do the hammerhead though. It's a bit wobbly. Right, corners on. Oh all my day. god, that thing's a rocket ship. This is fast. This is fast. Whoa, it's absolutely flying that thing. We 
wonder if it's an airport. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, He's overtaken oh, me already. Oh, through on the inside. But then the turbo kicks in. <laughs> Look at the weevil go. This thing is planted. I know why people like driving comets now. It's so good. Hello, Sam. <laughs> Goodbye, Sam. This is outrageous. Right behind me. Oh, it's sliding. <laughs> As we crossed the finish line for our final lap, it was still all to play for. That thing has no weight on it. Look at it, like the power to weight ratio on that thing is ridiculous. I've had a terrible exit out of there. He's gaining on me. Through, follow through. It's all Keep about the exit. Going. I'm going oh, to no, exit. He's coming through. I'm going to squeeze him. Through. Neck and neck. Oh, oh I've gone deep. Here Try and come. come through under the inside. No, oh, yes. No. Stupid. Bloody fister! F you, Tom! <laughs> he smashed the window! <laughs> he smashed the window of the car! Right, gentlemen. Did we beat our modern counterpart? Sam against the Brioso RA. Did you win? No, he was an arse. Yes, I, I, I saw you lose to him. Ian, did you win in your weenie? I did not. No, because I beat you. I was faster. Yeah. I, I won. Thank you. Um, and I think that concludes... No, 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 uh, if you get, you're forgetting that I beat you in... A, you were in a fister! Oh, oh yeah! I'm in yes, and did you see the rocket ship that you had? Considering it weighs about five yeah, pounds. Yeah, it was, it was pretty quick. So, in conclusion, all of our older cars were slower than the newer ones. And another thing is, we basically wasted our money. Um, yeah, I spent about one and a half mil upgraded mine. Sam... Too much money. So in conclusion, our classic compact cars against the new versions of them were worse, despite us spending over, what, a million dollars on upgrading them? Yeah, but they do look good. Yeah, I, I, I actually prefer the older ones still. Right, so on that bombshell, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Good night. Good night.